What's up, guys and gals? It's another episode of Elmo's World Food Reviews. Well, it's Elmo's World, but, you know, I'm doing a food review. Today, I've got the Southwest Omelette Biscuit and Southwest Omelette Burrito. It's kind of a double food review today. It's early. This is breakfast time. This is, you know, it's just really early for me. I work night shift now. Why am I up this early? It's because I wanted to do this for you. Yeah. So, what should I do first? Like, should I do the, um, omelet or the burrito first? All right. The biscuit or the burrito first. Ooh, Hardy's less than coupons. Good for them. Um, I waited a few minutes, not very long, but a few minutes to do this review because I don't know about where you all are. This uh, this Hardy's here. When they get your food out to you, it's hot enough to burn your fingertips. So I, I did wait a few minutes, and it's still pretty hot. The bag kept it kind of hot, so I think I'm gonna do the biscuit first. I don't know why I'm excited about this. I'm not even really that big of a breakfast food person. But I, I like Southwest stuff. So. Ooh. Cheesy. Very cheesy. Still hot. Still hot. Okay. Let's try to pull this off without tearing the biscuit up. Just so y'all can see. And... I can already see there's some jalapenos and stuff in there. I can't get the top biscuit off because that cheese is so nice and melty. There it is. It's everything that goes in the omelet is inside the omelet. So all I can see is biscuit, cheese, and jalapenos. But let me break this open. Looks like bacon. Bacon's on in there too. So that's that's gonna be really really good. I love bacon. Who, do, who doesn't like bacon? Some very different people. I'm not going to call them weird because everybody has their opinion. They're very different. Mmm. Wow. That jalapeno hits you right off the bat. It's very... It's not spicy. Like, I got a big chunk when I took a bite. And it, it's not spicy. It's just got that nice rumble heat. The cheese and the omelet mixed together well because, I mean, what omelet ha does not have cheese? And the bacon is there. But I think it's more of a ham, like a, like a country ham. I don't think it's bacon. But I, I don't know if I've ever had country ham cubed up that little. But this mixture that they got going on here, because I think there's maybe some mm -hmm. other kind of meats in there too. Um, the, the burrito, I think, has a sauce in it. I don't know what kind of sauce it is, but we'll get to that. But there's a little cross section. Get it. Yeah, there we go. So, I mean... If, there might, yeah, there's some onions, maybe. Some peppers. I don't see any tomatoes, which is what I thought I'd seen on the advertisement, but I could be wrong. Maybe that was the bacon, and I thought it was, or whatever it is, country ham bacon, whatever. Maybe that was what that was, and it just looks redder than what it is in real life. So, the biscuit, it's good. I encourage you all to get it. Try it out for yourself. Even if you don't think you like any of the ingredients list, or, well, I don't think you'd like it if you didn't like any of the ingredients. But, if you like some but don't like others, I would still try it. it they're only $3, so if you don't like it, are you losing much? Um, 
if basically what I'm trying to say is you may not like stuff separate but always try stuff mixed with other things because sometimes the flavors blend very very well I, my wife she can be a picky eater like she hates sour cream like hates it with a passion you know, like she touches the stuff and it makes her sick but my stepmom confused her one time she put sour cream in her mashed potatoes or something like that yeah and she ate them and my woman loved them and then all of a sudden my stepmom tells her it's got sour cream in it she's like she's she said she couldn't tell i mean she she could tell now that they told her but she couldn't she had no idea so it's it, it's kind of weird like that so let's move on to the burrito now i'm going to tear this apart because obviously with a burrito you can't see anything on the inside really loud truck you can't see anything on the inside unless you open it up and it's still kind of hot so it'd be a good way to look at the steam well y'all can't see that the lighting is kind of horrible today it's raining outside but um i was wrong about the sauce i thought it had a sauce but it doesn't look like it does unless that's just Unless that's, no, that's really melted cheese. And maybe some jalapeno juice. So I'm assuming that it's going to taste just like the biscuit. It's really good. If you like spicy foods. Now, if you despise spicy foods. You're probably not gonna like it, but it's a nice heat, not overbearing. Uh, the omelet, the eggs are actually they taste, they don't taste as restauranty. If you get catch my drift. So that's it for today. Um, I've got a few announcements to make. I may be changing the channel name. I know I mentioned that a couple videos. Well few videos back uh, that I might be changing the name so look forward to that forward to that also they have a patty milk version of this it doesn't have the egg it's just burger but it has a sauce on I know it has a sauce on because I see it on the advertisement and it's pretty blatant that it's there so I'll be doing a review of that I'm actually going to film it here in a few minutes because I have to wait till breakfast is over. Um, also, I have another snack crate. And I got a special guest on that episode coming up. So, stay tuned for that one. And... Don't forget to like this video, comment on it, and if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get a new notification every time I post a video. Thank you all for watching. This is really good. Go out and get you one. It's great. Peace. God bless y'all. See y'all next time.